Hey coach, I'm glad you found us on YouTube. Um, I hope you enjoy the basketball uh, drill that's coming up. If you are here, you're probably a basketball coach. I want you to go check us out over at teachhoops.com up here or down there. I don't think you'll be disappointed. 14 day free trial. If you just decide to join lots and lots and lots and lots of great resources. So go check it out. Um, and I hope you enjoy the drill. Thanks. All right, next one is Memphis, and let's get, uh, we'll just do uh, two on, uh, let's do one on offense, no, two on offense, okay, so somebody throwing it in, somebody up here, okay, so let's have green, who's green, Brett's green, and then two on defense, okay, you two on defense, so you, def you defend here, you probably defend right here. So we'll double here. What we'll do, and, they, and again, this is probably of all the 15 drills that I have, this is probably the hardest drill to demonstrate with small numbers. Um, what we do, and we call this the Memphis drill, we'll do one on one full court. We'll do uh, two on two full court. We'll do two on three full court. We'll do three on three full court. We'll do three on four full court for several reasons. I think it's important for getting pressure, all right? In this case, you know, we're not going to get any doubles. You know, if we had another person and I could come out here and defend, our deal would be Brett would have to catch the ball somewhere inside the three-point line. So let's say he cuts over here. And what we would work on is he's going that way. We would work on our trap. Okay, Ben and I would trap at this point, And then you would have to get open. Okay? So if we were doing three on defense and two on offense, what are we working on? We're working on our presses, which I think are important. We're also working on how to get out of the press. You know, it's been a long time since the Memorial team has been pressed effectively. And I think the reason is, is we do this Memphis drill. You know, we do two on two, three on three, three on four, just about every day to teach our guys how to trap, to teach our guys how to deal with, um, yeah, how to think through the, think through, all right, I'm here. Do I really want to catch the ball down here by the M? Probably not. I'd rather really catch the ball up here while I have some angles, okay? Um, the only key to that, and we won't, we won't go live here because we, we don't have to show them one on, uh, one on one full court or two on two, but what the, the key to that drill is, first of all, you, they got to communicate, talk to each other and make sure they're not catching it nice and low. Second thing is if, if Brett catches it, Brett has to catch it again, like I said, inside the three, and then when the ball gets here, one thing my teams have been good at is this trap, okay? We want to get up here and we want to take it away. We do not want to reach, okay? How often do you see kids get fouls that close on a double, reaching down? That's not where the steal's going to come from. The steal's going to come from the pass out of it, okay? This, we always talk about football and playing in the secondary. This is the person that's going to get the steal. You know, if we're going to double here, you know, if I'm doubling Brett right here, he only has one option. He's got to pass it to Augustine. You know, so, so Drew can really play great defense and deny that. So, again, we do that in the full court every day. I think the kids like it. You know, it's getting us going up and down the court, three on four, four on five, four on four. And, you know, I think it's something that really kind of has helped us over the years. Um, 